figuring out who we are and where we came from truly are complicated issues. Especially when those who came before us made a mess. <laughs> a mess. People have been speaking for God in their own self-interest, out of their own perspective, fears, hopes, greed, biases. They've been doing it for thousands of years. In the past, we might have called these people false prophets. Today, maybe it's more accurate to reference fearful leaders with internalized biases operating in racist systems, confusing the comforts of sameness and nationalism for spirituality. Yeah, it's a mouthful. It's easier just to say false prophets, right? In the beginning, we know that God created light and dark, dry land and water, and everything in between. God made male and female and everything in between. So God made day and night and dusk and tea time. God made land and water and Florida. God made male and female, everything in between, and things so in between, so far from either end, it feels like neither. God created people and blew a breath of life into them. God created covenants with people to guide them. And along the way, we neglected God's request to care for all creation, especially each other. We forgot that God's request to care, to care for all creation was more than plants and animals, more than rivers and streams. It included the people next to us. We somehow turned God's guidance into judgment and started condemning each other rather than loving each other. We have to reclaim God's story. We have to reclaim Jesus' teachings. If we're to share faith with authenticity, if we're to speak a prophetic word to the world around us, we must reclaim God's story. Pull it back from the hate that has hijacked it. We must reclaim God's story. We have to look back, remember the story, rediscover grace and hope. We have to reclaim God's story from rainbows to resurrection. We have to reclaim God's story.